All right, well, we know what the penetrometer does, don't we? That we poke it in the ground, and if you don't have the penetrometer, you can get a bit of fencing wire and do the same thing. And we know that there's a magical number on here, which is not marked, actually, no, between 200 and 400, the centre point between those two, which is 300, on the red scale, it's 300 PSI. And basically, that pressure starts to be indicated when you put some pressure down onto it, and we're about reaching 300 PSI now. So, that's the point. So at that depth, at that depth, we should find when we dig our hole that at about that depth, there will be probably limited or restricted root activity at the moment. There might be residual roots there from the previous season, but at this point in time, now we're resaturating the soil. The roots are probably getting down, the fresh ones are probably getting down that far and then stopping. All right? Well, so what we do is we go around and do that in a number of places. I'm going to turn around so I can see the dial indicator on there. And I encourage you all to have a go with this and walk around. Now, this is actually a lot softer and we're getting to 300 PSI about now. All right, so the point is that you don't just say, take one spot in a paddock and say, that's it, and, and that's what the rest of the paddock's like. You actually go around the paddock. If, if I was trying to get a handle on how, how this paddock was laying, I'd probably put at least 10 or a dozen probes in there with the penetrometer. It's not hard work, normally. In the middle of summer. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Blue rope paint.